If you wait for him to attack you and you are at a close distance in front of him, your chances of succeeding are very small. If he's proficient, can use his hands and legs quickly and effectively, you don't have a prayer. So in that situation, it's really essential for Nage to develop the ability to initiate and to be proactive. If you find yourself in a situation where you think your life may be in danger or you have to intervene to help someone else, you can't go in with a passive attitude thinking that, well, I ha he has to initiate so that I, I don't get into trouble with the police. If you decide it's life or death, take care of that situation first and then worry about the other things afterwards. I am Nage, he is Uke. Normally, I'll wait for him to initiate the attack. But because of the, the nature of the distance and the fact that he is face to face with me, I don't want those uh, bad conditions. So I'm going to initiate. Hey, now don't do this, please. Don't do this. And also, don't do this because you're, you're not close. And he didn't react to that. But by that, he reacted because he, he knew that I at least hit him on the head or something like that. So this is like a reptilian response. Uh, very few people can control it. If something comes quickly towards your face, you're going to go back and instinctively perhaps raise your hands. Okay. Come to the side. I have another opportunity for our Temi here, and I can do Shihonage from here. So once again, calm yourself. Hey! So uh, he, you elicit a response on his part. Then I'm going to come off the line. I'll come here, grab here if I need to, at any. Notice how this breaks the balance. Shihonage. I get off the line of attack. I can even throw here if I need to. Stand up, please. But we'll we'll work on I don't want from the point of contact to take his balance immediately. But some of you are there, you're doing a good job at the first point, but then you're maybe getting lost in the mechanics of the technique. And in the meantime, uh, your uke has regained his balance, and then you have a vulnerability. So. Uh, for example, uh, I'm here. So, okay, I've taken his balance. But then if I'm fooling around here, he could get it back and I would have a potential vulnerability. So uh, don't get tunnel vision and do this. But you know, keep a good posture and if necessary, go ahead and do a tenny. And then you'll eliminate that potential vulnerability. You just go down to a speed that's comfortable for you. Uh, try to preserve the flow if you can. You can go slow and do it, but uh, don't put stopping points in your movement that allow, will allow your partner to regain his balance, okay?